EasyJet is the Europe's leading low-cost airline for, for 17 years, operating on over 600 routes across 30 countries with our fleet of 200 aircraft. With its headquarters in Luton, the business quickly spread to further destinations such as Gatwick, Milan and Geneva. EasyJet have also proven popular to high-demand, low-cost tickets. In 2001, they had a turnover of £375 million and last year the company served 55 million passengers. However, the recession has inevitably disrupted the company's successful growth. So, Gretchen, can you tell me about the internal and external forces that affect EasyJet? Yes, for sure. The first force is competition within the industry and two main competitors of EasyJet is Ryanair and Flight Group. The second force is power of suppliers. The price of jet fuel increased by 40% in 2011. The power of buyers, I need to mention it, that EasyJet has launched new routes, for example, the ones from Copenhagen to Paris and eliminated 20 less popular routes, such as routes to Helsinki. Uh, another power is threat of new entrants. EasyJet differs itself by offering low-cost flights through Europe, but lack of the economies of scale of large carriers like British Airways. Threat of substitutes, it's not so many of them for international traveling, but for national one, people might choose taking a train or driving their own cars instead of taking Rebecca, a car. Can you tell us about the external factors of EasyJet? Yes. EasyJet have actually recently increased their administration fees in response to government calls to make surcharges for debit and credit card users. This is to cover costs with like IT within the company. And recent challenge recent economic challenges have included, you know, volcanic ash and snow which have, you know, stopped basically EasyJet's flow and their income because it's dangerous for passengers to fly. The use of um, technology attracts customers and encourages them to make quick and easy purchases. So customers are attracted are attracted by, you know, better te technological users. EasyJet have also recently launched their first smartphone app, app so it, you know, it's suitable for both iPhones and Android, Androids, enabling passengers to search fares and times. EasyJet is named the first commercial airline company to trial the nanotechnology to cope you know, the aircraft's incre increasing, fuel, um, increasing fuel efficiency. Manufacturers have actually estimated that this could reduce EasyJet's fuel um, consumption by one to two percent, and in December, the government made a move to ban such charges on payments to airlines and other firms after you know the campaign um, to end last-minute fees. This ban is in, to be imposed by the end of 2012. So, from your analysis, what have you found? Uh, I went through the SWOT analysis, and I find out that they are the low-cost airline, no frills air servicing, leading to city destinations in the UK and across Europe. Uh, they got the competitive prices. They also are recognized as a leading brand name in the UK travel industry and had the efficient and quick turnaround. However, the weakness is that they don't offer food on flights like longer than two hours, but they could as an opportunity to get more customers. So they could offer the food and also they could offer an alternative new routes. Also, the threats. Uh, affecting them is that economic downturn with decrease in casual flyers and also that external market factors which affect the airline's profit profitability by that, the, for example, the oil price is increased. What about the recession? Uh, recession. EasyJet is one of the few airlines which did remain prof profitable during the recession with underlying the pre-tax profits of 34 million compared to and 123 million last year. So that's is the result as the good revenue performance. EasyJet had weathered, so that means that EasyJet had weathered the recession so far, and only that what they need to do is to close its East Midlands base and reduce flying program in Luton by 20%. Hi, Olivia, can you tell us what does EasyJet use as a management model? From looking at the competing values framework, so there are four models of management. The rational goal, the open systems, human relations and internal processes model. From observation, it seems that EasyJet uses a mixture of both the open systems and rational goal model, but featuring the rational goal model predominantly. I 
say this because um, that model focuses mainly on productivity and maximising output, whereas the open system model is about diversifying products and services offered by EasyJet. Um, possible um, recommendations for the future would be for EasyJet to um, concentrate on the human resources model. Um, after facing criticism, criticism on television through programmes like Airline, it has been come to um, everyone's attention that customer service is what EasyJet is lacking in. And focusing on human resources and focusing on the employees and boosting their morale might increase motivation to actually do better and offer better customer service. Thank you.